quite frankly, we all get to that point where you are scrolling online, you are browsing, you are surfing the internet, and you see an amazing website that you love. And you're just imagining on what platform is this website designed? Uh, is this a WordPress website? If it is, what team is this website using? I would love to have a website like that. So if you are in that state and uh, you want to know uh, what team a website is using and how you can lay your hands on a theme like that, I got you covered in this tutorial. I'll be showing you how to get any WordPress theme out there and better still how you can turn an existing website into a WordPress theme. If that makes sense, without further ado, I think we should get started into these tutorials immediately. So right on my screen is wpteamdetector.com. It's a fantastic website. If a website has been designed with WordPress, this would help you know what theme it is. Another website you can still use is called whatwpteamisthat.com. If you're not even sure at all whether a website is designed with WordPress and you want to know what content management system that website is using, this website here called whatcms.org would help you know exactly what uh, content management system any website out there is using. Let's experiment with this and let's see. For example, let's just play with wordpress.org and let's search. We all know this is wordpress.org. Wordpress.org will not be using any custom theme, but let's just see. So you see what it says here, wordpress.org parenting 2021 edition. So you can see this is a custom theme that wordpress.org is using. And if you scroll down, you will see the plugin installed on that website. And that's the way it works. Uh, I have quite a random website opened here. I can just use one of them. This one is a university. I can copy this. Let's use this other uh, URL here and let's search. If you're not sure whether it is a WordPress theme or not, like I told you, wordcms.org is a good website for you to just paste that URL here for you to know. And that's the first thing you want to do. So you can see here it says that it is a WordPress theme. Uh, it is designed with WP Bakery, PHP definitely. The CDN is Cloudflare. And then you can see the social media networks. And this is good information. Now you already know how this website has been designed uh, so coming back here now we can see the theme name it is called Eve, and this is the team url this is the author liquid team uh, this is the link to the author's home page and you can see uh the license and everything you can see all the plugins that have been detected slider revolution uh real 3d flip book light if call contact from seven uh, simple file list. This is the first thing you want to do. You want to know what theme uh, that site is using. So in this case here, you can just simply uh, visit uh, this URL for you to know more about the author. You can come back here again and go to Team Forest if you want to lay your hands on that theme. So as you can see here, this is the portfolio of the developer. So you can just uh, view that portfolio for you to be able to find that specific theme. So if we scroll down, uh, we should be able to find that theme here. So you can see the theme has a an HTML version and the WordPress version to priced at $12 and $39. So if you click on the WordPress theme, you should be able to find that theme here and you can just buy that theme directly on Team Forest. So whatever this person has been able to do on this website here that you love so much, uh, you should be able to find on that theme and then you should be able to buy it. Uh, their page is taking forever to load. I don't know why that is. Uh, their demos are taking time to load. But again, we found uh, the theme we're looking for. And in this case here, this is the theme. So you can go ahead and buy this theme and then install their demos and then customize your own website to look exactly like that. So that's the first step. Super easy way. But in some cases, uh, these get more complex than this. You can be using a website and then you're searching for uh, their theme and they've been able to hide it. Some people go the extra mile to secure their website. They take away their theme information from the front-end resources so that you don't have access to it. You don't know what theme that has been designed with. And some again is a custom design theme you will not find on the internet. For example, uh, let's... Uh, just like we have here with WordPress.org. Uh, the same thing again, if we try something like Elementor.com. I've not checked before, but I want to believe that Elementor would not be using any general theme 
that's available in the marketplace. Uh, but let's check, let's confirm. So you can see here it says this WP theme used by this site seems to be called Elementor website, but not detailed information about this is available at Elementor.com. Apparently, just like I was telling you, so you can see here, this is a custom theme by Elementor for Elementor, if that makes sense. So you would not be able to find that theme online or buy it online or lay your hands on that theme. So now the question is, what happens when you want to have a website like Elementor.com? And even if you are able to find uh, the theme that the website has been designed with, like Have, like this, for example, in some cases, uh, some website has done a lot of job customizing that website that it doesn't look anything close to the theme. In that case, you are still far behind getting the exact same design that, that exact the website you want to replicate is using. So how do you do this? This is taking us to the next step, which is a little bit, uh, this, is, this will take us to the next step where you can actually copy any website. You can clone the design and then turn it into a WordPress theme. So how do you do that? Let me show you how to do that. Uh, so right now, I love to use a platform called Figma. So let's come to Figma. So inside of Figma, I have opened a project. Uh, if you are not familiar with Figma, you can just go to figma.com and create a free account, create a project. And once you do that, you have an interface like this. Uh, so here, we'll install a plugin that would help us literally clone any website into Figma. And from Figma, we're going to turn it into a WordPress theme. Let me show you how that works. Uh, so if you come up here and then you come to plugins here, you can just come to manage plugin and type in a plugin called HTML to design. But because I've used it recently, so you can see that plugin is here. So I can just easily launch it. Good. So I have uh, the plugin here. It's a freemium plugin. You're allowed to use it for free, but however, it is limited. Maybe 10 to 15 times monthly. I can't really remember. Uh, if you want more, then you can definitely subscribe to Pro. So for you to just copy any website theme into Figma, you just need to put the URL here. In my case here, the last one I copied here was WordPress.org, the About page. Maybe we just do the home page right now, just for tutorial purpose. Uh, so right now I have WordPress.org here and we can customize the viewpoint uh, in case you want to bring in the web view, the mobile view, the tablet view. But for the purpose of this example, I would love us to work with uh, the laptop view and then the mobile view. Uh, these two viewpoints is good for us to have a responsive WordPress theme. So right now you can change between light or dark, whatever it is that works for you. So I'll close this right now and then I'll hit the import button. This plugin is doing its magic. This plugin will go to WordPress.org currently, clone that website, and then bring it into Figma. Let's give this some few seconds to finish up. Fantastic. So this is done here. So let's close this. For us to be able to see what our website looks like, let's just come up here and then let's uh, switch to zoom to fit. We want to see exactly what we have. So right now here, you can see I can zoom in a little now to see. I have WordPress website here cloned. So right now from here, we can see that we have uh, our web view and our mobile view. You can scroll through them. And I think this is super, super beautiful. I will always advise you to customize any website you're using uh, before you turn it into your own. So right here inside Figma, you can customize anything whatsoever. You can change text, change images, change anything, customize it to meet your own standard. For example, let's say that you want to change this from meet WordPress, you want to change this to meet tabs, you can just click uh, into all of this till you get to this exact text here. So you can see here, it says meet WordPress, you can change them to anything. I can just say I am um, dabs. Uh, you can see this is how super simple that is. So from here, I can scroll into this image. Uh, for example, here, let's come down here. We'll be able to see this image here. If we click on this image, this is the image here. We can just choose another image, maybe from our computer, and then replace that. On my computer here, I can use any random image. I can just choose this. And then you can see that image has changed. And we have the image right now on our website. This is how super simple and easy it is for you to use figma to customize this page and you can do the same thing for all the pages on the website this is just the home page you can just change this from uh, whatever it is here by double clicking on the title there and just name this home i can just say home web for example and for this here i can just say 
Home Mobile. And that's it. So right now, you can bring in the plugin again, go to WordPress.org, go to the About page, go to every of the page, and then bring them onto your canvas here. And that's everything you need to do. Once you are done, we need to use another plugin to convert this into a WordPress theme. And that plugin, again, will come up here. Uh, we come to Plugins. And then from here, we'll come to Manage Plugins. And then we can just search for a plugin called Yotaco. And it's the first uh, plugin here. It says Figma to WordPress. Let's run this plugin. In your case, if you're using it for the very first time, you might just need to put in your email here and click Start Now. And now you need to put in your Figma URL for you to be able to create this website. And how do you get your Figma URL? Just come up here to share. Make sure that this is set to anyone so that uh, Yutako will be able to see this Figma file. So what you just do is eat this copy link and you can see this link is copied. Then close this and then put that URL here and then you can eat create your website. Okay, so the next thing for us to do here is for us to add frame and that frame is our main frame and that our main frame definitely is our home page. Uh, so we're going to just shift this a little and this is the frame here. So I'm going to select this frame and then I'm going to add this. So you can see this is our main frame now. It is now set to our home page. You can add another screen. Uh, in your case here, you might want to bring in the tablet view and the mobile view. But I have a mobile view here, so I want to use that so I can just hit add the size. And then you can see I now have my own mobile here as a size. That's it. So the next thing is for us to just hit the continue button. We are going to give you some time for Yutako AI to do the magic. Good. You can see here that this is done and then we can preview this or we can try this again. But let's preview this right now. Hold on. We are building your preview. Again, we're going to give it time. Let's uh, allow this do its magic. For some weird, unusual reason, this preview is taking longer than expected. It doesn't take this long. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but in your case here, you might have been asked for you to create a free account on your taco. Uh, it would definitely prompt you if you're using it for the very first time. Uh, but in my case here, I have an account here and I have that account open. So I can just come to dashboard. So I have it here, dashboard.yotaco.io. So let's see what we have. So I have one theme here. So uh, let's view this theme. So you can see this is the theme here. This is the WordPress website we just uh, worked on here. Let's go to the details. Uh, so you can see from here we can download the theme, which is exactly what we want to do. Um, we can also publish this on our own hosting. Two things in case you want the website live, you don't have an hosting. Why waste your time downloading the theme? Uh, if you have an hosting already and all you want is just to download the theme, what you must do is just come here to hit the download button. And here, if you want to do it single download one time, you'll be asked to pay $19.9, which is quite ridiculous if you really, really want to uh, buy a theme and then spend time to customize it. Uh, so that's it for downloading. In case you don't want to download, let's come back here. You want to host it live, you can just come here. And here you will have the option to host it uh, literally for free. And that would mean that you'll be using the subdomain. Uh, the other subdomain, you won't be able to use your own custom domain name. So you can see you tackle subdomain only. But if you want to host it on your own domain name, you want to have full control over this, you can start from $2.49 per month. And trust me, that's a fantastic amount to get an hosting account. And this is how super simple and easy. Let's check this. This is still previewing. I don't know why that is. Uh, maybe some technical glitch this time around. I can't tell. Uh, but you can publish it live like I'll show you right now on your free subdomain. Then you will see exactly what that website looks like. That's exactly how you can copy any theme out there online, any WordPress theme. Uh, or any website and copy it into a WordPress theme. And I think this is super amazing. You can go check this tool out and then give it a try. And that's my time for this tutorial. If you find it useful, give me a thumbs up. If you have any issues whatsoever, do let me know in the comment section. I'll look out for them. I'll see you in another tutorial. And until then, stay safe.